Good evening. Tonight's Scotch Whiskey review is Glen Grant Single Malt, 16 years old. Glen Grant is not a brand that's well known in, in most uh, whiskey homes or in Canada or the United States. It is actually a single malt that uh, is often a key component single malt used in blended Scotch whiskies. And so it's, it has a massive distillery in Scotland, and the vast majority of uh, its uh, sales are to blends. Nevertheless, uh, it is available now in Canada. It's very uh, well distributed in Italy of all places because I think the company that owns the brand now is an Italian company, Campari. In any case, we're going to try some. The alcohol by volume is 43%. Don't have my glasses on. And um, so on the nose, it's sweet, not offensive. Um, I think apple blossoms, a little bit of citrus. Uh, on the website for Glen Grant, they speak of it as uh, orchard fruits, which would bring to mind apples, pears, and uh, I agree with that. Not particularly smoky, maybe a little bit of peat in there, but it's nice. It's not offensive, quite pleasing. On the palate, it starts out initially sweet, definitely tasting some apple, some apricot, pear juice, citrus notes. It's nice, it's clean, it's fresh. And then there's a transition. It starts sweet and it finishes dry. Good multi notes on the finish. Um, graphite, pencil. And I'm tasting some sherry, but if you go on the website for Glen Grant, they speak of it being aged exclusively in ex bourbon casks. Actually, they don't say exclusively, but they only mention ex bourbon casks. But I do taste some plum. Uh, dark fruits that would suggest that there's some sherry casks or butts used in the production of this whiskey. It's a solid dram. It's not offensive in any way. Smooth yet dry on the finish. Uh, would make a great gift for somebody who is a whiskey enthusiast and you don't know what they like. I don't think you could go wrong with this whiskey. I have some water. Thought I would add a little water into this and see what that does. Just a drop, like imagine a quarter or an eighth of a teaspoon. Adding water makes it much more creamy. More chocolate notes. It's a nice change. I thought by adding water to this whiskey that I would characterize as quite light, fruity, citrus notes, uh, that adding water would over dilute it almost immediately and kind of ruin it. Sometimes with light whiskies, you add water and it can make it grainy. Not the case at all here. It's nice with water too. So it depends on your preference. If you're new to single malt scotch whiskey, don't know what the big deal about single malts, this would be a good place to start. This is a good gateway whiskey that might reel you in to the world that I live in. I highly recommend it and it's available in Canada now. In the United States, 
distribution is not great. In Canada, the price point is a little bit steep. I think I paid around $65, $68. But you know what? I'm happy with my purchase. I don't know what it fetches in Italy, but it's very popular there. Uh, in terms of complexity of flavor, you want to drink it neat. You add the water, you take away a bit of the complexity, the astringent notes, and astringency in a good way. I'm really liking this with water. It gives some milk chocolate and brings it to the forefront. So that's my review of Glen Grant. 16 year old single malt scotch whiskey, good place to start for the beginner, and a good place for an old hack like me every once in a while. Cheers.